This morning, the Highway 63 Transportation Corporation out of Kirksville, Missouri, and the Highway 63 South Coalition out of Davis County met with the Department of Transportation Engineers from both Iowa and Missouri at the Iowa-Missouri state line on US 63. It's, it's a good uh, feeling to know that we're both communicating the same story and that our dream is to build it and they will come. Both of the coalitions came together for a couple photo opportunities at the Iowa and Missouri Welcome Signs to communicate to people that both sides are working together. It's good for Missouri to understand that we are designing and, and coordinate that together and it's good for the coalitions to understand that, that opportunity as we uh, move ahead. Even though the Highway 63 expansion was not included in the IDOT's five-year plan, the head of Highway 63 South's coalition, Joy Evans, said the coalition will not give up. We just want to let people know that we're still working on this project. Even though there's been some, you know, some deadheading along the way, we're not going to stop. And we want people to support us. One of the main issues for both coalitions is funding. At this point in Missouri, there's not funding to expand 63 north to the Iowa line, but we need to continue the planning process to be ready when funding becomes available. The Highway 63 Transportation Corporation meets quarterly, and next they'll be going to a blue ribbon panel in July. We will present the pictures that we've taken today, and, and there will be people from Iowa as well as from Missouri representing the, the corridor, so we're excited about it. Both coalitions say they will continue to support each other as the planning process moves along. Reporting from the Iowa-Missouri border, I'm Tess Hedrick for KTVO.